Hello, this is Warlord, and what we're going to do is take a look at sound and music in iClone. Now generally I use another application like my editor to do the sound, but sometimes I don't want to wait. And it's pretty simple in iClone. So what I have here is just a, a simple shot. It's an establishing shot. And I want to add some background noises, uh, some ambiance, and I want to uh, add a soundtrack to it. Just to kind of see how things look. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to switch to a work camera. And those that know me know that if I do anything at all in iClone, it's with dummies. Dummies just make things a lot easier to keep track of. So, in this case, I'm going to add two background sounds and a soundtrack. And so what I want to do is Shift D to make some duplicates. Then, in order to keep up with this, and this is not something you have to do, but in order to keep up with it, I have my own, uh, I guess you would call them uh, labels for my dummy, so it's easy to tell what's what. Now, as you can see, these boxes, they don't have the right type of uh, UV map on them. So what we're going to do is come in here to box and Z and apply that. Again, this is not something you have to do, but it will also make it a little clearer in the video as to what we're doing. And sometimes things get complicated, especially if you're going to put sound in iClone. And this is just an easy way to keep up with them. You also want to make sure that you're setting them as dummies. So that you can toggle them on and off and so that they won't render. Now, I'm just dragging and dropping the sounds. This is one of them. Background metal sound. Here's another ambiance. This is birds. Okay. Then we have our soundtrack. Okay, now we have all three of those in there, and when you need to go back and change one, it's very simple. You just click on one, open up the timeline, uh, make sure that you have your object-related track clicked, and then it will be in the soundtrack. And you can do whatever you want to do with it in here as far as terms of when to stop and start and things like that. Now, another thing we can also do with iClone is they allow you the ability to come in here and actually fade the music in and out. So, let's say we wanted the sounds to start first, the ambient sounds. Let's go ahead and let's just put in about three. Now, let's try that and we should hear the sounds first, then the music will fade in. Okay, now let's go back to our main shot. Let's see what it looks like. The dummies are toggled off. And that's really all there is to it. And if you need to make any changes, you won't want this to even start a little later, you can just pull it back. Dummies are toggled on now. So they're there for easy reference. Where you set the dummies will probably also uh, make it easier in a complicated scene as to how to find them. In other words, if it goes with a certain area, put your dummies in that area. If it goes with a certain character, put your dummies next to the character. That way, without doing a lot of precise labeling, you still kind of know what dummies go to what. Uh, and it just depends. You can even come over here in this area and rename these uh, into whatever they are, you know, like Meadow, 
Well, of course, it might help if you actually spelled it right. But you know what it means. And really, when it comes down to it, that's all there is to managing sounds in iClone. And while we're here, we should probably frame this into a little better shot at the end. I'm all the way here at the end of the timeline. I am selecting my character as the pivot point, and let's just pivot it up and use the moon back behind somewhere, the moon in the trees. Something like that. Toggle off the dummies. Now let's go back and have a look. Now, of course, if you wanted that camera shot to stay there uh, a little longer to hold, that's where you would actually come into the camera timeline, go to Transform, and you can just grab this key. Let's pull it back to about 800. That's going to speed the shot up and finish by 800, but it will also sit there and hold for a couple of hundred frames instead of just abruptly ending. <laughs> 